Blaisdell residence. Got the the doggies over there chilling. About to hit up a workout in the old garage gym. Check it out. All right, in case y'all didn't know, Josh is one of our coaches here at the gym. So he's actually going to be going over the workout instead of me this time. So let's check it out. Any day now, Josh. Yeah, my bad. I didn't realize we were filming already. <laughs> All right, guys, today's workout, we're going to do three rounds. If you've ever done Fight Gone Bad, which you know is my favorite, this is Garage Fight Gone Bad. So it is three rounds at one minute each of a dumbbell goblet thruster, a hops over the dumbbell, single arm push press, burpees, and rest. We're going to do each movement for an entire minute, and it is just the amount of reps that you get per round. So when you track your score, all you need to do is track what you get total, so if you get 10 here, start your hops at number 11. That's if you've got equipment. If you don't have equipment, it's gonna be three rounds at one minute each. This time it's gonna be backpack thrusters, backpack cleans, hops over a backpack, backpack reverse lunge, burpees, and then rest. And so again, you're gonna do each of those movements for a minute, count your total reps for the round. Once you get all three rounds, you'll add all your reps up. That'll be your score for the workout. Look back at our video day one to uh, see kind of what the backpack is going to be. Uh, but what it's going to look like oh, is this thing filled up with water bottles or sand or whatever the heck you can find around the house. All right, guys, we're going to start off. Danielle here is going to show you the warm up. We're going to go over the warm up for if you have equipment. So the first movement in the warm up is just going to be a dumbbell strict press. So Danielle's going to show us two or three as Chris awkwardly walks in and does some curls. <laughs> So you're just gonna do two or three reps. You're gonna keep that elbow in, drive it straight up overhead, bring it back down. Just two more. And again, guys, this is gonna be a light dumbbell strict press. And the next movement we're gonna do is gonna be a lateral step up. Uh, the rest of the movements are the same, whether you have equipment or not. So we pulled out a nice ice chest. Pretty much everybody's got one of those. So for the next movement is going to be just lateral step ups. So you'll just stand on the side, step up, and then back down. Chris is gonna join in. See if I get both people, there we go. There you go, perfect. Chris got the nice little, uh, you know, clamp gladiator arms, sweating with the oldies. There you go, little hip movement. All right, guys, the next one is going to be just a sit up. Uh, if you have an ab match, you can use that. But again, it's just gonna be a normal sit up. Chris is gonna demonstrate for us here again. So there you go. You can keep those feet out or together, heels together, it doesn't matter. Throwing those arms up overhead, keeping that back nice and straight. As you can see, Chris has got there, just coming up. It's gonna be 15 sit-ups. The next movement is going to just be air squats. So Danielle's gonna show us. There again, you're just gonna keep those knees out over your toes, all the way, hips below parallel, just some air squats. And then if I can, we're gonna have Chris demonstrate our odd object, strict press. We've got a nice uh, helium tank for airing up balloons. You know, most people got these propane tanks, something empty, just an odd object, dumbbell strict press overhead. So you're just gonna, again, keep those elbows in nice and tight and go up and over there. So that's gonna be for the odd object. All the rest of the movements are the same. So I'll show you the warm up here. I've got it written down. So again, you're gonna go through three sets of a five dumbbell strict press or an odd, odd object, 10 lateral step ups, 15 sit-ups and 20 air squats. Just finished the warm up. We're gonna go over all the movements we're gonna be doing in the workout. Old Coach B is gonna be doing going over the movements. We'll, we'll see how he does. First movement is going to be the dumbbell thruster. You're gonna hold it up here in the front rack position. Basically, what you're gonna do is a full depth squat. Open up those hips, and you're gonna press the dumbbell overhead, just like that. I still want you guys to get a full depth squat. It means that hip crease needs to be below that knee with each rep, and you should be at full extension overhead with that dumbbell. Go ahead and give me 10 more. I'm just kidding, bro. You don't have to give me 10 more. <laughs> Killing it. 
killing it. All right, next is gonna be hops over the dumbbell. We're just gonna do a lateral hop over the dumbbell. So just back and forth over whatever dumbbell you choose. <laughs> don't worry yourself out too much. <laughs> then next is single arm push press. Guys, you don't have to alternate arms. Uh, it's just really however many you think you can do in one minute. Push press, you're actually gonna give a little slight bend to the knee, firing up through those hips and throwing that dumbbell overhead. As soon as one arm gets tired, you can start switching over to the other side. Guys, recommend don't go to full muscle fatigue before you switch arms. That way you uh, don't wear out those shoulders too bad. Next movement is going to be a burpee. Uh, I don't know if he wants to do it in here, if you want to do it on the mat. He's gonna do it, he's gonna do it right here. So a burpee, what I'm looking for is chest and hips to go all the way to the ground. So legs, chest, all the way to the ground. Then he's gonna bring both feet and try to bring them all the way up to his hands, up and out. And then hands overhead, little hop up at the top. Two more. Perfect, I'm looking for it. Beautiful, beautiful. Then, we're gonna rest for a minute. Show us what rest looks like. Yeah, whole minute, right there. <laughs> all right, now guys, we're gonna go over what those movements look like with a backpack. All right, guys, we switched just holding the camera coach now to use his uh, backpack for his odd object. First thing he's gonna start off with is a backpack thruster. So same thing, he's gonna go all the way down, pressing overhead, making sure he gets below parallel, extending those shoulders up, opening those hips all the way down. Next move he's gonna do is backpack cleans. So same thing, or odd object cleans, he just happens to have a backpack. So same thing up there, down. Making sure you keep those shins pretty vertical in the movement. Uh, remember, if your knees are tracking too far off your toes, just bring your butt up. And then you want to make sure you're kind of pulling that up instead of just reverse curling that backpack all the way. Next movement's going to be hops over the backpack. you got a taller person. Don't hit your head on my garage door. I don't have insurance for this. <laughs> I'm glad you said that. <laughs> we don't need to injure Coach Sawyer. I would have done something stupid and jumped too tall. So he's just over, just lateral, landing on both feet, taking off on both feet, just back and forth, become a professional ski slalomer. Next thing is going to be backpack reverse lunges. So I think the coach is going to hold it in just that bear hug position, just step back, knee all the way to the ground, and then back up, driving off the, that front heel to stand up, making sure you go all the way down. There you go. And then burpees. Where are you gonna demonstrate burpees, coach? There you go, right there. Again, chest and thigh all the way to the ground. Little jump at the top. So make sure you're touching all the way there and then just a little extension overhead. All right, guys. All right, guys, I'm not gonna show you guys the odd object when we went over the movements, but I'm gonna go ahead and do a dumbbell on this one. We all are gonna use dumbbells, so we'll see how it goes. Well, guys, quick change to the workout. Uh, it's actually single dumbbell cleans right after the thrusters we uh we forgot that by we i mean coach b so <laughs> we're going to demonstrate what the uh what the dumbbell power clean is going to look like <clears throat> basically you're going to get in that uh in that clean position so that shins are going to be fairly vertical you're going to open up those hips and then you're just going to bring it all the way to your shoulder just single arm so you can be switching uh you can switch back and forth whenever you just uh whenever your little heart desires but just basically from the ground to the shoulder with every single rep. All right, guys, let's get going. How was it, Danielle? It was awesome. It was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> How was it, Josh? Great one. Great one. All right. Good. Scores for reference, guys. Let's take a look. Oh! Well, thanks for joining us, guys. Day uh -oh. three. three. Day three. Day three yeah. of uh, no gym. Over here, thank you all, Blaisdells, for lending your home gym over here, the whole garage, for getting a good workout in. 
We got the pup over here chilling too. It's Marley. World meet Marley. Marley. <laughs> you said, hello. Oh, the world. She's like, yeah, I just want to get better. Again, guys, I want to say a thank you to our hopefully one day sponsor, uh, Fit Aid, for aiding our fitness again. Uh, First time is, having Fit Aid, and it's awesome. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Stop by the gym whenever we open again. You can get you one. Hmm. Well, how was it, guys? Fight gone bad in a garage. So, garage, fight gone bad. The push press. Push press was killer. Burpees, yeah. killer every time. <laughs> I don't know. Thrusters were got me. Normally, thrusters were jam, and my shoulders were blown up on that one. It's because we did all those dumbbell snatches. Oh, yeah. This was the worst one we've done thus far. I mean, this is only day three, but. <laughs> uh, Can I video and talk to you at the same time? Nope. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, I can video and talk at the same time. Oh, Sorry. Look at that. <laughs> Dude, all I can see is the sweat line down the steps. Sorry for the What's interruption the there, guys. I don't really know what we were talking about. Day three of the work. <laughs> day three! Might gone bad. <laughs> day three, Coach B done screwed up a, a workout on the board. You know, like, oh, yeah. Already messed that up. Uh, trying to avoid some power cleans. And it was cotton. Yeah. So all I did was wonder at that point how many workouts I've written on the board and screwed up. <laughs> Got pretty handwriting, but I may be leaving those inside, guys. <laughs> yeah. Oh, just a, uh, oh, that's what I was about to say. I think this workout was worse than day four. How do I already know what day four was? How do you already know? I don't know. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> all the fitness. All the fitness. So, any words y'all want to say to the people before we leave? Keep we showing up. Keep moving. Yeah, guys. We got this. Just keep putting in the work. It's so worth it, kids. It's going to be 10 times worse if you stop. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's hard when you're at home to find that, motiv that motivation. But I'll tell you what, Daniel had a good idea this morning. If you're somebody who changes before you go to the house, change when, you, at your, when you're at work before you leave. Now, when you get home, you're already in this work that workout gear. You're ready to go as soon as you get home. Oh, real. It's so hard to pull workout gear out of the drawer when you're so at home hard. after yeah. work. <laughs> if you already got it on, you got no excuse. Yeah. Right. If you're married and you have a spouse and they don't work out, drag them out there. You know, because you don't want to like this workout, right? Like you don't want to get halfway through the second round and be like, you know what? Nobody's here. I'm just gonna stop. Yeah. You know, that's why we joined the gym again because that's what I would do. I've got this nice folding squat rack on the wall behind me that I can use like four times because I get out of here like I'm gonna do a workout and then just midway through like the ten rounds all of a sudden becomes four. <laughs> right. Also. If you have my number, you can FaceTime me, and I'll make sure you're doing the whole workout. Yes, do it. There you go. He'll probably yell at you. I will yell at you, and uh, I'll keep coaching cues too, probably. I'm having coaching withdrawals over here. <laughs> uh, so FaceTime me. <laughs> the other thing, guys, is uh, I'll get up and show you, but I was telling Chris there, uh, so you're probably not going to hear it in ours because it's going to be a time lapse, but the, the workout, uh, if you need a timer for your house, you know, we can't all be bougie and have a big road timer clock like we do at the gym. So uh, there is an app, and uh, if you can see it, ooh, where's the camera? Right there on the top, <laughs> called Timer. It is. It's uh, if you go to the app store, I know it's on iPhones. Uh, it's called Smartwatch Timer. It's free. Uh, you don't have to pay anything, and it's got an AMRAP timer, an EMOM timer, a Tabata timer. Uh, it helped out on today's workout a whole lot because yeah. this one you have to know when the minutes are up. In a four time, yeah. It had a three, two, one beat for us yeah. right at the end of each round. If you so put it close enough, you can take a 10 second rest in between rounds. If you're like us and you stick it all the way to the back side of the gym, yeah. you work and get three seconds of rest. Yeah. Because it starts beeping for you. But it's uh, it's great. It's a great way to keep track so you don't have to like look at your phone constantly. You just put it off in the background and go. So. Wonderful advice. <laughs> we appreciate it. All right, guys. I couldn't do the workout, right? So. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. We will see y'all next time. Like, subscribe, all that other good stuff. Keep moving. See y'all. Bye.